Hello everyone, it's Carolisa at My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop up here in Logan, and we are going to talk a little bit about the edit feature on the new Solaris. Come on over to here. We're gonna start out from the home screen. We're gonna go into embroidery. So come in here, and this is where you get to select your different designs. You can do it from your USB and then import them that way, or you can choose from what's already here, which is what I'm gonna do today. So come in here to the exclusives, and we have lots of really fun, different designs that we can play around with. Um, today, I'm going to go to the novelty and just scroll through here and pick something fun. Let's go with, how about that tape measure? That'll be a little easier for us to see what's happening with that. Once you've selected it, come down here and press the set button. And now you have your design in the edit section of the machine. If you come up here to edit before you send it to embroidery, you push on edit here, and now you have a lot of different options for what you can do to change around that particular design. Today we're going to work with the size button. Come in here and select size, and you see all kinds of good things. There are a lot of different ways in which you can adjust your design. The first ones happen right here in your pinch it together, I consider that pinching when the arrows all come in. Obviously that's going to make it smaller. And then the arrows pointing out of the square is going to make it larger. So as you press that, you can see the image gets a little bit bigger. You can scrunch the image. You can make it fatter. You can stretch it and you can bring it in. So those are some different things that you can work with. If you wanna go back to how the original design was, you just hit reset. Now we're back to where we were. You'll also notice a little uh, icon up here that has the zigzag stitch plus some arrows going back and forth. If you press on that button, it's going to reset this pattern. And now from there, you can bring it in even more than the original setting and a lot bigger than what you could do from the first screen. So sometimes those little adjustments that you make in the, in the first screen right here, they're not quite big enough for you. And so you can come in here and make it even bigger. We are back now to the original size. And another way that you can move your, your design around as you're se selecting things, you can come down here and these different arrows will move that design to different places on your canvas. So if you're going to be adding words, you're going to be adding other images, you can use these buttons down here to arrange where your designs are going to be. If you want to go back to the center, just press that center dot, and there you have it. Another way to size is you can use your stylus or you can use your finger. You come in here to these red dots, and you drag the red dots. We oftentimes want to do this because we're used to pinching and pulling. It doesn't work on the Solaris. You get to just adjust it by selecting those different red. Well, now I've lost them. Select that. You just get to do it by selecting those little dots. Another way, if you like to plug in your mouse to the USB, you can actually use your mouse and you'll roll this way to make it bigger and you'll roll this way to make it smaller. So if you're into using your mouse, that is another nice little tip that you can use to change the size of your design. And that's it as far as changing your design. We'll do another editing feature next time.